Okay, so now that we've seen how our Sphero Minis are built and how they actually work from a mechanical standpoint, we need to understand how do we talk to our Sphero Minis, right? So, and that's what programming is, okay? So when we talk about programming, we need to understand how to talk to our Sphero Minis or to our robots, all right? So have any of you heard of programming? What is programming? Now, if you've said that programming is a way to talk to our robots or to our computers, then you're right. And so programming or the act of writing a program is simply telling our computers or our robots or giving them instructions. And so we say a program is essentially a set of instructions, okay? Um, so if you're writing a program for a robot, then you're writing instructions for that robot. And similarly, if you're writing a program for a computer, then you're writing instructions for a computer. Okay, now we like to say that a program is similar to a recipe. Okay, so like a recipe that you would use to make pizza or anything like that. So let's take a look at one of my favorite recipes, macaroni and cheese, and we'll see how a recipe is similar to a program. So let's take a look at this recipe for macaroni and cheese, southern baked macaroni and cheese to be precise. So here you can see um, just kind of what it looks like. So don't uh, make sure you don't uh, get caught uh, drooling at the mouth as, as you look at these pictures, but it looks pretty good, right? Uh, and so, but before we could get to this delicious macaroni and cheese, we actually have to follow some instructions, okay? And that's where we come to our recipe here, okay? Remember, we're saying that a program is essentially like a recipe, right? A set of instructions that are used to uh, communicate to someone or something um, steps on what to do okay um, and so in this case it's how to make macaroni and cheese okay so we have our ingredients right all these things that we need to have that go into it and the ingredients if we're talking about a program are similar to like the data or the information if we're talking about com uh, programming a computer right um, you need data you need uh, so if you're thinking about like an Instagram post, there's data associated with that Instagram post, like likes, comments, okay? And that's the same thing as our ingredients here, okay? And so what do you do with those ingredients? Uh, you, you have a set of instructions because the macaroni doesn't make itself, right? And just as we see programs on the computer or robots, they don't do that by themselves, okay? Um, you have to tell it what to do, okay? And so... Let's look at our instructions here so we can get an idea. So first thing you notice is that it's written in a language, okay? Um, so, and this happens to be English, okay? Now in computer or robotics program, you have languages as well. So Python, JavaScript, Java, uh, Ruby, okay? Those are all different languages, similar to the languages that humans speak. Um, and so, also, what we have here is a sequence. So as you can see here on the left, they're, they're numbered one, two, three, all the way through nine. So these steps to make this macaroni and cheese, you have to follow the steps, okay? In order, okay? Now, sometimes in programming, it doesn't have to happen in order, but most times these things happen in order, okay? If you're programming a robot or a computer or an app or something like that. So, uh, so step number one, just to give an example. So cook macaroni according to the package directions. So you gotta make the macaroni and then you follow the steps accordingly. So if you followed it correctly, hopefully when you're finished, you have what we see here on the other page, which is the delicious macaroni and cheese ready to be eaten. But if you didn't follow it correctly, which happens with programming as well, then you're gonna get something on the other end that uh, is, does not look like this and probably doesn't taste like this, okay? And so there's a process when writing programs uh, called debugging, right? It's, it's essentially troubleshooting, figuring out what happened. So if your macaroni doesn't turn out right, then either you put in the wrong amount of ingredients or you didn't follow the instructions correctly, okay? And so that's, that's debugging and that's just a side note. So there you go, a recipe is not exactly like programming, but it's a, a similar example that hopefully will help you kind of understand what programming is and how we can use it as human beings to program uh, robots, computers, iPhone apps, and so forth. And there you have it, 
a program again is just really a set of instructions just like a recipe is right a recipe has uh, information and it also has a sequence that you have to follow okay and so that's how a recipe and a program are similar so what we're going to do in the next video is actually give a program or a set of instructions to another human but before we do that we're going to have a quick quiz <laughs>